Episode 6 of Pathways Plus is brought to you by Emily Query, Dennis and Suzanne Agel, and supporters like you. For more information, go to www.pathwaystoenglish.org. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Episode 6 of Pathways Plus. I'm so glad you guys are here today. If you have a pencil and a piece of paper, go ahead and grab that because you might need it for today. If you don't have it, pause the video, go run and grab it, and we'll see you back here in a second. Today, we're going to talk about biomes and specifically two biomes. We will be talking about deserts and tropical rainforests. These are two very different biomes, so we're going to discuss the differences and similarities of these biomes. Let's slide to our learning target. Our learning target for today, and if you wanna read it with me, go for it, is I am learning about desert biomes and tropical rainforest biomes. Let's slide to see what our keywords for today are. Here are our keywords for today. Now, you probably wanna write down these words, and as we go on throughout the lesson, write down what these words mean or their definition. So our first key word for today is biome. And we will talk more about that throughout the lesson. So hopefully by the end, you'll have a definition. Our second key word is ecosystem. Our third key word is characteristics. Now I wanna go over what characteristics means right now because it will be important as you take notes on today's episode and you discuss what deserts and tropical rainforests are, that you know what the word characteristic means. So I wanna tell you the characteristics of myself, okay? So I am tall, I have brown-ish hair, <laughs> I have green eyes, and I'm wearing a green shirt. So those are my characteristics or what makes me, me. For you today, you're going to write down characteristics of deserts and tropical rainforests. So you'll talk about what makes a desert a desert, their characteristics, is it hot, is it cold? What are the characteristics of a desert? And then you'll talk about the characteristics of a tropical rainforest. So keep that in your head if you wanna write down that definition now of characteristics, that would be great. So remember, characteristics are what makes uh, something or someone what it is, okay? So what makes a desert a desert? What makes a tropical rainforest a tropical rainforest? Our fourth keyword for today is desert. And we'll talk about that later. And our last one, our fifth one is tropical rainforest. So let's slide to the next slide. Today, our lesson goals are, number one, I can explain the difference between biomes and ecosystems. So by the end of the lesson, you'll want to be able to do all three of these things. So first, explain the difference. Second, I can identify characteristics of deserts, and remember what characteristics are, and third, I can identify characteristics of tropical rainforest. So hopefully by the end of the lesson, you can do all three of these things. Let's slide to what's next. I wanna to talk to you guys about the difference between biomes and ecosystems. Now, biomes are very broad. So for example, a desert is a biome. There are lots of different deserts all over the world, but biomes talks about all the deserts but ecosystem are more specific. Ecosystems talk about a specific desert. For example, an ecosystem would be the Sahara Desert and a biome would just be a desert. So a biome clumps all the similar ecosystems up into one group. So we're gonna be talking about the biomes today and we might mention a few ecosystems but we're gonna talk about the characteristics of a desert biome and a tropical rainforest biome. But there are multiple different deserts and tropical rainforests 
all over the world and those specific ones where they are, that's called an ecosystem. So a desert in the United States and a desert in Africa, they're going to be different, but they'll have a lot of similarities. The temperature might be the same. They might have some similar animals, but maybe some different animals. So a biome clumps those together and just puts them as one, as a desert. Let's slide to what's next. So the first biome we're going to talk about today is a desert. And if you have a piece of paper, hopefully you've already written down your keywords for today, but we're going to make a little T chart is what it's called, where we talk about the different characteristics of deserts and tropical rainforests. So with me, let's make our T chart. So you're gonna write at the top characteristics. Characteristics. Okay. This is kind of your title. And then we're gonna make a T. So a line here, and it's gonna be a silly T. Something like this. It's a really big T. On one side, I want you to write deserts. And on the other side, I want you to write tropical rainforest. I want you to notice one thing just in writing that AI, A, that makes a long A sound, so rainforest, okay? So if you have two vowels, we talked about this once, but if you have two vowels, remember we say if two vowels go a walk in, the first one does a talk in. So A and I are two vowels, the, you're gonna say the long A, so rainforest. Awesome, so the first biome we're focusing on is deserts, and I have a few pictures of deserts if you wanna look at them, you'll see, does it look like there's a lot of rain in deserts? No, there's not a lot of rain. Maybe talk with someone around you. What do you notice about the deserts? What are some characteristics that you notice? If you wanna pause the video for a second and talk amongst each other, if you're with someone, that's great. Awesome, let's slide to the next slide and talk about some characteristics of deserts. So here are some characteristics of deserts. First of all, as you can see in the picture, it does not rain a lot in deserts. There's less than 10 inches of rain per year. So if you think about 10 inches, it's about maybe this much. So think about that on the ground per year. So a whole year, there's less than 10 inches. So deserts do not have a lot of rain. Second is it's very, very dry in a desert. Because there's not a lot of rain, the ground is very dry, which means there's probably a lot of dirt, there's not a ton of plants growing, it's not humid. So humid is when it, there's a lot of water in the air, but a desert does not have a lot of water in the air. It's very dry heat. And the third characteristic is that it's very, very hot in a desert. If you think about deserts, you think about the super hot temperatures, the animals that are living there, they're living in very, very hot conditions. And you also think about the plants that are growing there. There's not a lot of plants because there's not a lot of grass that they can eat or a lot of animals aren't able to survive in a desert just because they, a lot of animals and plants need a lot of water. So there's not a lot of plants and animals. So I want you to pause the video talk with each other about some characteristics that you can write on your t-chart of desert and then when we come back i'll have stuff written already for you and we'll see we'll compare what we've both written so pause the video now okay welcome back here are some of the things that i've written and maybe you've written something different and you want to add something that i have written or maybe you have written even more than I have written, and that's awesome. So I've written that in a desert, there's very little rain. So I said less than 10 inches. I wanted to clarify that so I know the exact number. And I also said that it's very hot and dry. So those are my two notes that I wrote. Collaborate with each other. If you need to write a few more things in, go ahead. And after, let's slide to what's next. When we talk about deserts, a lot of people know about the Sahara Desert in Africa. And that's because, or it might be because, 
It is the largest desert in the whole world, and it covers a large span of Africa. So this is one ecosystem, remember, but a desert biome is all of the different deserts. So let's slide to more characteristics of deserts. So some of the animals that live in the desert, and remember like I talked about before, there aren't a lot of animals that live in the desert because it is very hot and dry and a lot of animals can't survive that. But some of them that can are first, meerkats. So in the picture behind me, you can see the picture of meerkats. And these are, those are just little animals, little rodents that live in deserts. Now let's slide to a couple more animals that live in the desert. Another animal that lives in the desert is a camel. And maybe you have heard about camels. They have the humps on their back. So this is one animal that can survive the really hot and dry temperatures. And then last, we have scorpions. And I know in Haiti, there are a lot of scorpions. But if you haven't seen the scorpion before, it's on the screen. It's that little tiny bug and it has these little pinchers, you want to stay away from scorpions. If you see a scorpion, run away. You do not want to get bit by a scorpion. So maybe talk with some people around you. What are some other animals that you think might live in deserts? Go ahead, pause the video and talk with some people around you. Okay, hopefully you've talked with some people about some more animals that are in the desert or maybe in the desert. Let's slide to some plants that live in deserts. There are not a lot of plants that live in deserts. Just like animals, plants need water. So when you think about plants, a lot of people think about watering them, making sure they have the right amount of nutrients to grow. So with deserts, they're not getting a lot of rain. So only a few plants can grow here because there's not a lot of rain and it a lot of plants can't survive because they don't have the nutrients that they need. But one plant that grows in deserts are cactuses. So that's that first picture. And the second plant that grows, and there's different types of these plants, but little shrubs. So you'll see little shrubs all over deserts or in some parts of deserts. So if you want to pause the video, write down some more notes. When you come back, I'll have some notes written down and we can compare our notes and I'll see what you have written and you see what I have written. So go ahead and pause the video now. Welcome back. Here are a few notes that I have written that you can compare with your notes. So I've written that there's not many plants and animals that can survive in the desert. I also just listed a few examples of plants and animals that can survive. So I wrote meerkats, scorpions, cactus, shrubs, maybe you wrote camels as well, maybe you came up with some more animals that you know live in deserts, that's awesome. Let's slide to tropical rainforests and we'll start talking about tropical rainforests. Yeah, okay, no, you're good, you're good. Let's slide to tropical rainforests and we'll start learning about what tropical rainforests are and their characteristics. Here are some pictures of a tropical rainforest. Now, I want you to observe the pictures. That means look at them, think about them, and I want you to pause the video for a second and think of, talk with, uh, I'll start over. Okay. Um, here are a few pictures of tropical rainforests. Now, I want you to pause the video and I want you to observe the different pictures. I want you to think about what are the different characteristics that you see are in tropical rainforests? Is it hot looking? Do you think there's a lot of animals that live there? I want you to observe, make some predictions, and talk to people around you about what you think the characteristics of tropical rainforests are. So pause the video now. We're back. Okay, so let's slide to what's next to see what are some characteristics of tropical rainforests. One characteristic of a tropical rainforest is that it rains a lot. In fact, it rains over 75 inches a year. So that's a lot of rain. Remember deserts? Does it rain a lot in deserts? 
No, it doesn't. But tropical rainforest, it rains 75 inches or more per year. So think about 10 inches. Remember that was like this much. And 75 inches, which is way taller than me, of rain. It's a big difference. So those are two differences of tropical rainforests and deserts. Let's slide to see some more characteristics of tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are located near the equator. So the equator is this line, an imaginary line, that runs through the middle of the earth. And that's usually where it's hottest. So these tropical rainforests fall close to where the equator is. There's a tropical rainforest in Africa, Southeast Asia, and South America. And one thing that you should know about tropical rainforests that's very important is that tropical rainforests give us 40%, that's four zero, 40% 40 of the oxygen that we breathe because there's so many trees and that gives us oxygen to breathe. So it's important that we keep our rainforests good and we don't cut down the trees because these trees are what gives us oxygen to breathe. So I want you to Pause the video in a second because I want you to talk to people around you what you just learned about tropical rainforests, collaborate with each other, write down some notes, and then when we come back, we'll compare our notes and see if they're similar or different, and you can add things if you need to. So go ahead, pause the video now. Okay, we're back. Here are some of the notes that I've written that you can compare. So first, I wrote that tropical rainforests have lots of rain, 75 inches or more. I also wrote that they're located near the equator. Remember, the equator was that imaginary line that's in the middle of the Earth. And last, I wrote that it gives us 40% of our oxygen. And remember, we need oxygen to breathe, so the rainforest is really, really important for us, right? Awesome. Let's slide to see more characteristics of tropical rainforests. So where deserts don't have a lot of animals and plants because it's so hot and so dry, tropical rainforests are kind of the opposite. They have a lot of plants and animals. Half of the animals and plants that live on this whole earth live in the rainforest. So we have lots of plants and animals in the rainforest. Let's slide to find out what plants and animals live in the rainforest. Now remember, with plants and animals in the tropical rainforest, I'll give you a few, but over half of the plants and animals that live on Earth live in the rainforest. So there are so many different plants and animals that I could list. So you can do some research on your own to find some of those plants and animals. I'm just going to give you a few. So one animal that lives in the rainforest is an anaconda. And an anaconda is a snake. It's a really big snake. You can see it in the picture behind me. Very scary. You don't want to come across an anaconda. Another animal that lives in the rainforest is a toucan. And that's a bird that you can see in the picture behind me with a colorful, beautiful beak. Lastly, we have chimpanzees that live in tropical rainforest. And those are like monkeys. So here are just a few of the animals that live in the rainforest. Let's slide to talk about what plants live in the rainforest. Just like the animals, there are tons of plants that live in the rainforest. So these are just two of the lots and lots of plants that are living in tropical rainforests. One is the kapok tree. And if you see in the picture behind me, you can see that this is a huge tree. It's very wide and its roots are huge. Its trunk is huge. This is a ginormous tree and that is a kapok tree. The second plant in the picture is called a heliconia. And these heliconias are also, some people refer to them as lobster claw plants because they kind of look like lobster claws. In a second, pause the video write down some notes, talk with people around you, and then we'll come back, review our notes, and move on. Pause the video now. We're back. Let's compare notes to see what I have, what you have. If there's anything that I have that you don't have and you wanna write, that's great. You can write that down as we go. 
So I wrote that over 50% of plants and animals live here in the tropical rainforest. That's really important. So if you don't have that down, I would probably write that down because it explains that because of the climate, it's humid there, it rains a lot, over 50% of the plants and animals are able to live there because they have the necessary nutrients that they need. I also wrote some examples of the plants and animals that live there. So I wrote chimpanzee, anaconda, and kapok tree. Maybe you wrote more down, um, maybe there's some differences, that's okay, as long as there are animals and plants that live in tropical rainforest. Let's slide and we'll go over what your lab work for today is. For your lab work today, you're going to be drawing a picture of a desert and a tropical rainforest biome. Now I have a template right here of how you'll draw it. So you'll split your paper in half and then on the top of one write desert, the, trop of the other half write tropical rainforest, and you'll be drawing a picture of a desert, drawing a picture of a tropical rainforest. And you want to be able to show clearly the differences between the characteristics of a desert and the characteristics of a tropical rainforest. Not by writing, but all by drawing. So for example, are you going to have a lot of green in the desert? Probably not. But will you have a lot of green in the tropical rainforest? Probably. So use your notes that we've taken today to do your lab work. After you finish, take a picture of it and send it on over to us at Pathways and we can feature you in a future show. Let's slide to review our learning target for today. Our learning target for today, remember say it with me, I am learning about desert biomes and tropical rainforest biomes. Now let's slide and self-evaluate how we did today. If you felt like you really learned about these biomes, you know about deserts, you know about tropical rainforests, and you're ready to do your lab work, give yourself a three. If you feel okay about it, but you're a little confused about a few things, give yourself a two. And if you are so confused, you didn't learn anything today, and you need some more work, give yourself a one. Remember, all of these numbers are okay. It's great to self-evaluate, see how you did, and see how can I do better for next time. Awesome job today, you guys. You did amazing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Pathways Plus.